the geologists had got the ball rolling, they were beginning to realise that rock formations like these in Dorset must have taken millions, not just thousands of years to create. But it was what they found in those rocks that interested people even more. The cliffs near Lyme Regis are one of the world's richest sources of fossils from the Jurassic period, 180 million years ago. In Darwin's time, these cliffs had already been the scene of some of the most dramatic fossil discoveries ever made. The most famous finder of fossils of all time was a girl called Mary Anning, who was born right here in Lyme Regis, the daughter of the village carpenter. When she was 11, she and her brother found what she thought was a crocodile. Actually, it was the best preserved specimen ever found of an ichthyosaur. She went on later to find the world's first plesiosaur and the world's first pterosaur, a flying reptile. She was brilliant. Some people suggested that these creatures had died in the great flood described in the Bible. But others wondered why God should have created species, which he then allowed to go extinct. It just didn't fit with that traditional idea of a, a perfect world where nothing needed to change. Mary Anning's ichthyosaur wasn't the only thing that had disappeared. Evidence was mounting that many, many species had suffered change and had become extinct. In fact, it was becoming increasingly obvious that the world was much, much older than people had believed. 